<laughs> right. What's up, you two? It's your boy Brandon Midwest Con Copeland. I am here at the Georgia Sports Performance. And I'm here with somebody a lot smarter than me. Way better looking than me. I know y'all tired of seeing me and Sam lift weights. I'm here with Dr. Joel Seidman. How are you? How are you? Yeah, actually, good person for your time, too. I know you're a busy guy. And actually, I'm going to tell you a true story. Probably three months ago, when we first made contact with you, I said, and this is true story, I said, listen, forget everybody else. Let's do, let's try to get a collab with Dr. Joel Seidman, especially with the product that we have. A lot of guys don't really truly understand the science behind it or the benefits of it, so we watching your videos, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I tried one of your workouts when I was in the gym alone, thank God I was, because I was in the gym fails. But there's a lot of guys you got a following, it's not just the brute stuff that I do. He does a lot of things that I want to steal some knowledge from him and act like I did. So like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow him on all his social media. I'm sure you already do. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Guys, I keep telling y'all, y'all send me all these things, but y'all not subscribing. Y'all want me to get to a certain number, but you're not subscribing. I'm trying to get to this level, all right? Just, just as good as that, all right? Stay tuned. First of all, man, you had a ton of education behind your philosophies and your training, right? Whereas for me, I kind of started learning that later. Not as, you know, not as in depth, but, so those are the things that, for safety, for functional training, for athletic performance. So could you just give us a brief background of your education and how this even came about and your background in fitness yourself? Definitely. So I got my undergrad and master's in kinesiology from Indiana University. And uh, that was a really cool experience because during that entire process, I was basically training people hands-on, one-on-one, also doing some stuff with teams. So I got to take what I learned in school and essentially implement it with my clients in the practical setting. When I was 24, once I finished my master's, my body started to fall apart, even though I was using kind of what was considered a mainstream expert fitness yeah, yeah. device and technique. So that kind of led me down this path that my body was falling apart, but I'm following everything like it should be. So I went and did my PhD, pursued my PhD in kinesiology at the University of Georgia. And what I found while I was doing this and kind of embarking on this journey was uh, something called a 90 degree eccentric isometric protocol. And all that is, is it's a, a way of training that allows the lifter to fine tune their body mechanics and basically use extra sensory feedback that's occurring during the movement to essentially adjust their body mechanics so it's pain free, so it's as strong as possible, and so they're you also pain free. Pain free. That's, that's the key. <laughs> that's, the key. <laughs> that's the key. So a lot of it involves 90 degree joint angles. When I did the research in biomechanics and neuromuscular physiology, and showed that 90 degree joint angles isn't just the most biomechanically sound position where we have the best leverage. It's also also the position we have the most motor unit recruitment, the most muscle activation, and also where we had the least amount of tension on the joints and connective tissue. So this. this this device we have here that you guys developed for the bench press, it actually combines really well with my training philosophies. Now let me ask you a question. And me being me being a bench presser, mm -hmm. how often do you have guys come in with shoulder injuries? How often how often do you see shoulder injuries due to bench press? I would say shoulder injuries just in general along with maybe low back issues are probably the two most common things that and I see. And in, 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 in just in general. Yeah. And then if we talk about upper body and we get a little bit more specific into bench press, I would say 80% of the athletes I work with at some time or another have had some significant shoulder issues yeah. on bench press or from bench press. And we can always tie it back to, hey, the barbell flat bench press because everyone right. might still have you on that. So, right. um, yeah, it's, it's a very common issue. Very common issue. We'll see one of our issues is shoulders, right? Shoulder mobility, not so much pain anymore. Right. Actually using the launch pad kind of helped out because I was putting a ton of pressure on my front delts right. as I was bench pressing, but it's the mobility part that I've ruined over years of doing it. So it's interesting you say that. So today, if you don't mind, of all the Instagram videos I've seen of yours, I've seen some cool workouts. I got me and this clown who <laughs> also has shoulder issues. And we were like, man, if you don't mind, yeah. Show us something on the launch pad, okay. chest wise, man. That you know, maybe I can steal and again act like I came up with it. <laughs> yeah, nice. All let's right, do it. Doc. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. So we have the uh, advanced muscle mechanics bench press uh, tool right here. And what I'm going to demonstrate is I'm going to take my 90 degree eccentric isometric protocol and I'm going to combine it with this. And what I like about this is that it basically reinforces 
proper spinal position, which is a huge thing for what I do with 90 degree eccentric isometrics. Also optimizes scapular humeral rhythm so we can get our shoulders back better. And it's also a very rigid surface, so it forces us to create very sound structural integrity of the spine and stay tight. So we're gonna go into this 90 degree eccentric isometric protocol. So on the 90 degree eccentric isometric protocol, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tighten up my whole body, set my posture, tight core. I'm gonna go down slow, but I'm using my back to squeeze down like a row. Down nice and slow. I'm gonna feel that natural stopping point of 90 degrees. Now I can go tighter, or I, excuse me, I can go lower, but I'd have to sacrifice shoulder integrity. So I know right there, everything is maximally locked in. Again, I stay as tight as possible. Find that first natural stopping point. Right there, I can feel my back muscles and my lats fully engaged. It feels strong, but it feels safe. Boom, right there. That's the position we're after, whether it's dumbbell, barbell, single arm, double arm, doesn't matter. That's a proper 90 degree eccentric isometric. All right, so we're gonna use the 90 degree eccentric isometric protocol. Uh, you may or may not be too used to this, but what I want you to do is several things. First off, before you start the set, activate everything as tight as possible. Kind of that traditional power lifting position where you pull the shoulders back, create a natural arch, but not excessive. The way we're gonna make sure it's not excessive is keep your core tight. And then from there, I want you to lower it slowly, keep your back tight, find your first natural stopping point with your shoulders down and back. Let's try it out. All right, now, big chest, perfect. Okay, down slow, big chest, perfect, keep going. Nice, that looks great. Awesome, that's a great position right there. Good. Hold it. Good, be powerful but smooth. Exactly, that's nice. That 90 degree position is where we have maximal muscle activation, but he also has the least amount of tension on the joints of connect and connective tissue. And so it's, it's basically therapeutic on the muscles as well as on the joints. Excellent job. Awesome, that's perfect for him. Excellent. It does because if you if you go deeper. Okay. Same thing here. All right, good. All right, get the shoulder set. Perfect. Okay, nice. I like that. All right, and then just find that first natural stopping point. Stay tight. Full body tension. Full body tension. That's nice right there. That's perfect. Powerful but smooth. Boom. Exactly. That's nice. And his shoulders are staying in a perfect position. Now, he could go farther, but he'd have to sacrifice his position. He'd either have to overarch his back or he'd have to go into slight internal rotation and overstretch the connective tissue. Right here, the muscles are maximally stretched under full tension. Again, he can go deeper, but he's letting up on his muscle aspect. That's perfect right there. Excellent job. Perfect. Speed-wise, that as far as, as fast as you wanted to go no, down? You, so it depends uh, if I'm teaching an athlete and they're, they're working on more powerful uh, kind of speed. That would, that did, um, that did take a lot off. And, I, and I, honestly, I'm not used to doing this grip when I do dumbbells, because when I used to try it, I used to feel, that's because I'm standing too much. Yeah, like I used to feel it on that chest, yeah. Down, and then it tears all the Yeah, I didn't, feel it, I didn't feel it at all. I felt a ton of tension, good tension, and coming up to feel it, you know, your chest, yeah, yeah, chest. Yeah, 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 so like yeah. shoulder joint. Yep, yeah. that's why I, I used to try it, and it just didn't, right. it didn't work out that way. You can always stretch more, but there has to be a point where it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa there's what, how far is too far. And that point when we look at the research on biomechanics, we look at the research on structural muscle physiology, we look at the research on neural muscle physiology, it's all congruent with each other. It's all pointing to the exact same thing. So in the 90 degrees is where that point is. That's the sweet spot. You go past that, you're actually having less muscle activation. Right. You actually have to let up on the muscles. But something has to take that force. And if the muscles aren't fired up, guess what it is? It's your joints, your ligaments, your tendons, and connective tissue. Okay, so we're gonna try something called offset protocol or offset loading. And we're gonna combine it with the uh, bench press tool here from Advanced Muscle Mechanics. Offset loading, it's really intense. It doesn't take much load to create a very strong training stimulus. And basically what's happening is you have to synchronize both sides of your body even though the loads are different. It requires a lot of motor control, a ton of stability, a lot of core activation, and an insane amount of full body tension. So I'm gonna demonstrate this real quick. I don't have much weight on here, but it's still gonna do the job. So I'm gonna take this weight off. Right there, even taking that off, I can feel everything activate right there. Cause right now, if I didn't stay tight, it would literally wanna pull me off the bench. So I'm gonna have to fire everything.
Now, that was very intense. I've done these before and I've gone heavier, but no matter how many times I do them, they're always crazy intense. The second side, if I was gonna flip this around and put the weight on the other side, it would be harder than the set I just did because you have something called a double offset. The first set is 25 pounds heavier on one side than what I'm used to doing. We go the other, other direction, it's now a 50 pound offset because now I'm going 25 pounds back to neutral and another 25 pounds back to the up, opposite side. So the second side on the offset set feels way heavier and way harder. It's walking apart. You know what I'm saying? Closer side closer, here. Closer, okay. yeah, so that way you have more weight on the sides of the, so I'm gonna recommend, why don't we go, Oh, you want to spot him? Because if I'm yeah. back, I can cue yeah. him yeah. a little bit. Okay. I'm about to say, I don't trust you, dude. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, two, one. Okay, I'm going to let this go. Yep. All right. Now, tuck your elbows forward, big chest. Tuck it forward more. Keep tucking it forward. Now, drive it to your right so that it stays centered. Pull it to your right a little bit. There. You want that center knurling? Centered with your body. Good. Jeez. Drive it up. Nice. There you go. Keep shoving it to the loaded side, to that right side. Yes. Now it's centered. Hold it. Exactly. Good. Give me one more. Give me one more. Good. It's only a 60 pound barbell bench, man. Come on, what you, what you struggling for, dog? There we go. Oh, man. How was that? Nice little walk. Oh, my God. That, wow. It's the hardest thing you ever done. Dude, that's fired up everything. Oh, yeah. I'll be the first turn of the drop. One. Oh. Good. Good. All right. There we go. That's great form. Good, perfect. Yeah, that center, that piece of knurling is center right with his body. And it wants to go this way, but he's pushing it to the left to keep it simple. Push it to the left just a little more. There you go, yep. Whenever you do offset loading, you have to shove the bar to the, to the loaded side to keep it centered. It feels weird, but that's how you keep the bar centered. If you let it go towards the other direction, you're offsetting the offset and you basically lose out on the benefits. Nice job. That's so nice. I can't get yeah. that. Like, you had arrows in the video. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Okay, now That's shove the bar to your right. Right there, now more. Yes, now go slow, stay tight. Tuck your elbows, tuck your elbows forward. Right there, there's your rep, there's there you your rep, there's your rep. Stay tight. We're gonna answer this pain. Right. Yep, 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 yep. Tuck, who's going for it? Good, let's go one more, yep. Keep tucking those elbows forward. Keep going, keep going. Yep, that's your, ooh, that's your money rep. Money rep, yeah, nice job. Yeah, I felt it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> This would be the most kind of extreme offset protocol that you can do because we have zero weight on the unloaded side. You can actually do different types of offset loading where you would put maybe two 45s on each side and then maybe a 10 and a five or just a 10 on one side. And that's not nearly as significant of an offset. It would actually be easier than what you just did here. But what it does is allows you to get some overload and a little bit of an offset challenge, just enough to kind of keep your body to stay tight. So both are good. We're doing the more extreme version so you guys can kind of feel right. uh, and appreciate what the offset load is about. Double offset, okay, three, two, one. Okay, you got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Core, 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 core. Yeah, core. activate everything, that's nice. That's perfect. Hold it, shove it to the left. Go ahead, keep shoving that bar to the left. You, that, you always want to push the bar to the loaded side. Yup. Exactly. Yep. So Big chest. Exactly. Shove it to your left. Shove it to your left. Right there. Hold it. Good. Last one. Stay tight. Tight grip. Hold it. Nice job. That's crazy too. Pushing it. Two. One. Okay. Now I'm gonna let it go. All right. Stay tight. Yep. Okay. Now. Yep. That's perfect. That's perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Hold it. Oh yeah. That's great. Oh. That's great, that's great. Tighten up every muscle in your body. Core, hips, everything. Tight grip. Hold it. Ooh, that's nice 90 degree joint angles right there. That's the thing, when you have people do offset bench press and you try to tell them to go past 90, they instinctively don't want to. They, they automatically find 90 degree joint angles because it's the most biomechanically sound position. Their body doesn't want to go past 90. It would feel awful to go past 90. Great job. Excellent. You're gonna want to flip you off the bench. You ready? Core, core, right, core, here we go. core. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shove it to your left. Tuck your elbows more. Right there. Get better. That was good. Yep. Tuck. Slow, 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 slow. Hold right there. That was good. I want you to pause the bottom. That's your sweet spot. Stay tight. Yep, yep. Tuck. Hold it. Very. That's your best rep of the day. Give me another one like that. Tuck and pause. Tuck your elbows more. Hold it. Don't move. 
Nice job. Harlem <laughs> 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 shaking. <laughs> This is this is where uh, you know when I was doing the whole 90 degree eccentric isometric research, I would do protocols like this because they're so intense that if you don't do them right, you really can't do them. But every time I would have clients come in, or I would try these methods, the body, everybody's body would gravitate to 90 degrees. So I'm like, hmm, maybe there's something to this that everybody's body and my body on every unique variation keeps gravitating to these 90 degree joints. Now, if you was doing if you was doing a regular bench day. Would this be good to do like a couple sets just to warm up? That would be a, probably one of the best warm ups that you can do because um, first off, you get a ton of blood flow warming up yeah. your joints, but you're also kind of creating this optimal neural release. So you can even put two in exactly. And then when you go to normal bench, you're, it's not only going to feel lighter because everything's still activated, yeah. but your technique's going to feel that much more locked in. Good, good. So it's like, That's oh, what I felt like that would work out. Feet, right, yeah, yeah. Warming up, yeah. Like you go to a bench press now and you're going to be automatically right in here and 225 would feel way easier than 60 pounds felt. Yeah, and it would right. probably feel easier yes. than 225 ever felt, to be honest. Yeah. Mm. They in trouble now. <laughs> oh, yeah. My mind's blown. <laughs> it really gives me a lot of appreciation. Okay, now hold it right there. Don't move. I want you to tuck Activate your elbows everything. forward. Big chest. Keep tucking it forward. Right there. Nice. Exactly. Oh. Good. Very nice. Big chest. Hold it. Good. Good enough. Keep your head back. Keep that chest up. Yep, right there. That's that's nice. Hold it. Perfect. Nice. Hold it. That's good. I like the adjustments. See how he's already making oh, subtle yeah. adjustments with the nine degrees such a isometric protocol because you have more sensory feedback. Yes, right there. See how his chest got out even more. Awesome job. Really nice. That's actually working out. Yeah. That's actually. A workout rather than just survive in the bench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what most people do. Just I hope I How survive. You know what I'm saying? I right, and when I bench, I'm out here. Yeah. So the bench. Yeah. Over here. Over here. Out of the shoulders. No. Don't give me a look up because it's kind of awkward position. Yeah. All right. Sure. Three, two, one. All right. Hold it. Okay. That's nice. Perfect. Hold it. Oh yeah. Nice. That's excellent. Perfect. Hold it. Excellent. Good. Give me two more like that. That's great form. Oh yeah. That's the way to fine tune it. Hold it. Oh yeah. Good. I'm looking at the as you're coaching the I'm looking at the angle of his elbows. Great. That's Hold it. Perfect. Perfect. Great job. Wow. Let's do four. Let's do four good reps. Exactly. Slow. Tuck more. Keep tucking more. Keep tucking. Keep tucking. Hold. Nice. Good. Good. You can even screw those elbows forward. Yes. Even screw them more. Yep. 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 Hold it. Don't move. That's your rep. You feel your last fire on that one? Oh, yeah. That was great. Yeah, that was awesome. You have a look. Yes, yes. Keep going down. Hold it right there. Awesome. Great job. Go after so after your experience with training athletes and your style of training, your education is he created this machine for safety. And you also, I mean, a lot of people when they think of bench pressing, they think of, is this gonna help me bench a million pounds? Well it's not. But it is going to help you target, which also strength comes gradually. Exactly. But safety first. And with the vision of this, what we would like to see is it in facilities, college, high school, high school to help these right. kids, you know, have good form, uh, build their bench, and be safe doing it. Um, could you, in your professional opinion, in all your studies and work, could you see this being in facilities such as that? 100% because it, it essentially helps to reinforce proper bench press technique and like I was telling you guys I have the luxury here of being able to work one on one with athletes take their elbows show them the right position but for folks who don't have that luxury and they need something that's kind of a seamless simple dummy proof method that can get them in the right position help them with their technique and this really does that because it, it puts their spine in the right position puts their shoulders in the right position so the chance of injury markedly goes down it's going to teach them the right technique and then they go back to a normal bench press they're going to feel that much stronger that much more locked in so this right here would be a great tool for pretty much anyone who does bench press or has struggled with bench press whether it's high school collegiate or pro athletes
So that's it, man. Dr. Seaman, man, that was awesome. Thank you, thank you. And my again, pleasure. My pleasure. Again, finishing off, man. Learning. And that's, and that's huge for us. Greatly appreciate the time you spent with us. And that is something that I'm going to implement into my warm up to offset. Nice. And guys, if you have never done that, try it. And if you are a beginner, I would not put 135 on there. <laughs> Just try it with something small, something light, and get to the technique of it. It was extremely hard for me and Sam. It's a whole different feel. And the couple sets that we did, even with the 225, and people have seen me bench that a lot of times, that right there fired my pecs more than I've ever had them fired. And this is just not saying this for video. I would never just say stuff like that. I'm dead serious. Y'all all seen me bench. I have a wide grip, which takes a lot of stress off the chest. But due to my mobility, which now that I can, I came to learn, I can implement that when I'm working out. So I greatly appreciate it for those of y'all who keep saying, yeah, y'all done had it, man, come on, man. I'd have added another, I'd have added something else to the one with so that 315 going up for 50. It's going up for 50, 225 over 80. Thanks, Dr. C. So anyway, Dr. C, man, I appreciate, appreciate you, man. That was awesome, man. Appreciate Thank you got so. a beautiful facility, man. Thank you. Beautiful facility, Thank you. man. My pleasure. Yeah, definitely. And uh, yeah, awesome. make sure y'all follow him. If you're not already on Instagram, he said TikTok, he got it all. All you got to do is put his I name in. I got haters on every channel. He got hey, haters on every channel. <laughs> and if you hate... Make sure you unblock your page. He gonna send me y'all comments, and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get troll patrol on the boots. But I really appreciate it. Like, subscribe, YouTube channel. Until next time.